Windows 11 is still hiding features you use every single day, and new updates broke even more stuff behind the scenes. Aw, uh, crap! If your start menu feels wrong, your system tray's a mess, or your controls keep opening the wrong menu, yeah, Microsoft did that. But today, we're taking back every bit of control. Welcome back, everyone. Grumpy Sysadmin here, the guy who fixes what Microsoft breaks, usually before I've had my first cup of coffee. And just like I promised in part one, today we're bringing back the big stuff Microsoft tried to bury. The real Windows 10 start menu, the old functional system tray, classic volume, network, and clock flyouts, and yep, the taskbar at the top, plus several more mysterious removed features. We're using Explorer Patcher again. Free, open source, and doing a better job maintaining Windows than Microsoft has in five years. If you haven't downloaded and installed it, check out my part one video where I show you where to get it. I'll leave a link to it in the description for you as well. But one quick note before we dive in. Explorer Patcher already fixes a bunch of Windows 11 stupidity the moment you install it. So if some of these options already look different on your system, that's normal. It just means Explorer Patcher beat you to it. And honestly, thank God it did. Number one, bring back the real start menu. Let's start with the big one, the start menu I teased in part one. The Windows 11 start menu is basically a glorified app launcher with fewer customizations than a microwave. Let's fix it. Open Explorer Patcher. You know, right-click on your taskbar and select Properties. Click on Start Menu. And then under Start Menu Style, select Windows 10. Click on Show More Tiles and turn it off. Next, Corner Preference, select Not Rounded. And then go to App List and set it to Display if it's not that already. And just like that, the real Start Menu is back, with actual organization actual structure, and none of the AI-generated confusion. It's like reuniting with an old friend, except this friend actually helps you get your work done. And when you switch to this, Explorer Patcher will show a pop-up about limitations. Click it if you want. It'll just explain the few quirks that come with using the Windows 10 menu like this. Nothing scary. And trust me, what we fix next is even worse. Number two, restore the real system tray. Windows 11 absolutely wrecked the system tray. Icons hide, menus lag, nothing opens where it should. It's chaos. Let's undo the damage. Open Explorer Patcher again, and then go to System Tray. You want to enable the following settings. Skin Taskbar and Tray pop-up menus, Center Tray Icon Pop-Up Menus, Flyout Behavior for Tray Icon Pop-Up Menus. For Hidden Icons Pop-Up Style, make sure this is set to Windows 10. One optional setting you might want is to show seconds in the clock. If you want seconds displayed, enable this as well. And that's it. The tray works like Windows 10 again. Fast, predictable, and not buried behind Microsoft's experimental control panel. Now let's fix the thing everyone complains about. Number three, bring back the old volume network and clock flyouts. Windows 11 replaced simple volume and network controls with a massive quick settings panel that looks like it escaped from a tablet. Let's bring back the good stuff. In Explorer Patcher, Go to System Tray. Under When Clicking a System Icon in the System Tray Open, change each of these settings to Windows 10 Flyout, if not already set. Sound, Network, Clock, and Battery. And just like that, you get clean, instant, and no-nonsense flyouts again. And you won't open airplane mode while trying to adjust the volume, which is a win for humanity. Number four, move the taskbar to the top. This is the feature that Microsoft still refuses to add, 
even though people have been asking for it since day one. And the ridiculous part? For decades, you could move the taskbar anywhere. Bottom, top, left, right. Basically, wherever your little weird productivity brain wanted it. And then Windows 11 showed up and Microsoft ripped the feature out like it was some kind of forbidden technology. Ever since, the villagers have been outside Redmond with torches and pitchforks demanding it back. In Explorer Patcher, go to Taskbar. For Taskbar style, make sure it's set to Windows 10. Under Customize System icons in the Notification area, set Primary Taskbar Location on screen to Top. Under Secondary Taskbar Location, you can also set this to Top if you have multiple monitors, for example. For Automatically Hide Taskbar, make sure this is set to Disabled. And there it is. The taskbar is at the top, more efficient, easier on the eyes, and something Microsoft apparently considers too advanced. And yes, you'll notice the menu also shows left and right. Unfortunately, Microsoft ripped out the code that actually makes those positions work, so Explorer Patcher can't restore them. The options are just left over from the Windows 10 era taskbar. Top works. Left and right are basically decorative at this point. Number five, make Windows search fast again by disabling modern search. Here's something Microsoft never wants to admit. Windows 11's modern search is slower, laggier, and somehow finds everything except the thing you're actually searching for. So let's fix that. In Explorer Patcher, go to File Explorer. You're going to want to enable Disable Modern Search Bar. Yeah, Enable to Disable. Seems a little weird, right? But that's how it works. For Shrink Address Bar Height, you want to enable this. If you don't want to see the search bar at all, enable Hide Search Bar Completely. This is optional, of course. Also optional is Use Classic Drive Groupings. Feel free to enable this if you want this as well. And just like that, Search is fast again. No more UI delays, no more gray loading box, no more searching your cloud, your OneDrive, your phone, and your ancestry before it actually looks at your hard drive. This is how search is supposed to work, instantly. And before I wrap this up, I gotta say thank you. We just crossed 50,000 subscribers, which is absolutely wild to me. This little grumpy corner of YouTube has turned into a real community of smart, sarcastic, tech-loving people who actually get it. And a massive shout out to the eight channel members. You're the real MVPs. You're helping me spend more time making videos and less time fixing corporate train wrecks. I appreciate you more than you know. Want your name in this list? Become a member and I'll put you up here too. It's the easy way to support the channel. And honestly, it keeps me from losing my mind when Microsoft does something stupid. So now your start menu works, your system tray works, your flyouts are back, your taskbar can move, and your file explorer has real tools again. Once again, we fixed what Microsoft broke. And yes, part three is already planned. Advanced tweaks, hidden UI settings, and even deeper explorer patcher magic. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it, and as always my friends, stay grumpy.